So, we're back to doing general equations, and what we're realizing is that this section pretty much ties together all of our combined like terms, our distribution, our addition rule, our multiplication rule, division rule, all that stuff. It's putting it together for us, and we're able to solve equations. So it's quite a big section for us, and we're working on problems like, like this one. So if we're supposed to solve a problem like this, which can only be done if we have an equation, thankfully we do, what are we supposed to do first before we start adding or subtracting or multiplying to both sides, all that stuff? Say what now? Distribute combined like terms. Sure, good. So we're, we're actually trying to simplify both sides before we start working with the equation itself. So it's kind of like miniature problems within this problem. We look over here, we try to simplify just this part. The 15, we're going to leave that alone, that's just a number. But yeah, we do want to distribute this side first. Now, how about this? Do I subtract first or do I distribute first? Distribute. 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 Definitely. Now, what number am I distributing here? Negative three. three. Good. Circles with the sign. We've done this a lot now, so this should be coming, becoming pretty easy. Well, not easy for us, but a little bit more understandable, a little bit more doable for us. If we do write the 4. Can you please tell me what am I going to get when I distribute negative 3 and t? So I'm going to put minus 6t. And then what's this one? Plus or minus? Minus. minus. Good. Equals 15. So we distribute. We get this. Now what do we do? Combine like terms. Perfect. When I combine like terms, I'm talking about on each side. So on the right-hand side, I'm not even worried about like terms over there. There's just one number. Over here, I do have some like terms. I see the 4. I see the negative 3. If I combine 4 and negative 3, what do I get? 1. one. one. one and then what? Perfect. Now we, do, we double check. We make sure we don't have any more like terms. We don't. We don't have any more like terms. We're, we're good to go. We're ready to solve this. Our variable is t, and so we try, what we try to do is get everything away from that t. So in our case, we have to get rid of a coefficient and a constant. Which one do we get rid of first, the coefficient or the constant? Constant. Good. How are we going to get rid of that constant? What's on the left-hand side, please? Negative 16. So we have to keep that sign with it? Okay. On the right-hand side? 14. Notice in this case we didn't have two variables on, on either side. We didn't have a variable on each side. So there was no way to make our variable positive. If we had had two variables, we would have been subtracting this or adding the smaller one. Do you remember doing that as well? Mm -hmm. So when you have two variables, that's the case. In our case here, we didn't have two variables. We could only isolate this variable. So there wasn't anything, any smaller variable to get rid of. We look at our t, we get rid of our constant term. Now we're going to get rid of the coefficient. What is my coefficient in this case, folks? So what do I divide by? Negative 16. So negative 6. Am I dividing by t in this case? No. Now we want to leave the t there. I'm just doing that negative 6 because all I really care about is getting rid of that number. On the right hand side, oh, wait a minute. Does negative 6 go into 14? No. no, we're just going to leave it. Leave it 14 over negative 6 for right now. I will show you what to do with those fractions in the next section, in uh, two sections from now, in chapter 4. Raise your hand if you feel okay with doing that problem. There's a little review for us. Good deal. Now I'm going to give you three to do on your own. I'd like you to work through them. I'll be walking around. If you need help with this stuff, now would be a great time to get that help.
just to let you know, you are going to have several problems like these on your second test. Maybe make, make a little note on that so you go back and study those problems. You're going to have lots of those. trying to simplify both sides of our equation. Simplify both sides. That means you might have to distribute. You might have to combine like terms. After that, we look to see if we have two variables. If we do, if we have two variables, we get rid of the smaller one. We're talking about two variables on different sides of the equation here. We get rid of the smaller one. Then we get rid of the constant term by addition and subtraction. And finally, we divide. That's our process. Okay, we're going to get started on the first one here, then I'll give you a couple yeah. minutes on the last two. But I want to make sure you're doing this correctly. So on the first one up here, first thing you need to do, of course, not subtract. We're not doing 6 minus 5. We're distributing because the order of operations say multiplication comes before subtraction, so we're distributing first. 
we're also distributing not only 5, but we're distributing negative 5. You have to circle that number with the sign. That's why I have you do that step so you identify that that minus or that negative is going with that number. Not sure if you're with me on that. That's got to happen. So we do have the 6. We're going to have minus 15y. Everybody's going to get that part right. Even if you don't, if even if you're distributing just regular 3, you get the minus 15y right. It's the second part that's crucial for you. If we distribute negative 5 times positive 2, you need to be getting minus 10 there. Did you get minus 10? Yes. Good. And that equals 26. Now, from here on out, we're going to try to combine like terms and keep on simplifying this until we get no like terms left on either side. So we have a 6 and a minus 10. I know that 6 and minus 10, that's going to give me 4. Negative 4. Oh, okay, negative 4. Negative 4 minus 15y, I still have that, equals 26. Everything's combined. I have no more like terms. Now it's time that I can solve for my y. I get rid of my constant term first. What's my constant term that I'm talking about here? Negative 4. Good. So I need to add 4 to both sides. That gives me negative 15y equals 30. And then from here, do what now? Divide. Our last step is always to divide. That number in front of y is called the coefficient. The only way you get rid of a coefficient is through division. So we divide by what? Yeah, is it 15 or negative 15? Negative. negative. That's how we're going to get rid of that negative. So negative 15 on both sides. Y equals, what's 30 divided by negative 15? Negative 2. Dividing that, yeah, we're going to negative 2. Raise your hand if you got negative 2. Good, okay. Okay. Do you need more time on this one? <laughs> oh, let's go through this one then. What's the first thing you're going to do? This is quite an uh, involved problem, isn't it? There's a lot to do on this problem. First one is what now? We'll distribute this. So we'll leave our 5x alone. Can you all tell me what number am I distributing here? Two, negative negative. So I'll circle that. Let's see what we get. It's going to go to both those terms. Hey, everybody, what's the first thing I'm going to have? Minus 6. That wasn't everybody. Come on, folks. Negative Let's play six along. Minus six nine. X. And then minus 9 or plus 9? Plus 9. Plus nine. Can you explain to me why plus 9? Two negative. Negative. Good job. On the right-hand side, I have a positive 4. I'll distribute that. I know I'm going to get 4x minus 8. Would you please raise your hand if you made it that far? Okay. The next step gets a lot of people with mistakes. The next step. The next step is to combine your like terms, right? You with me still? Yeah. Next step is to combine your like terms. You've already distributed. Next step is combine like terms. Over here, check it out. I have no like terms. Well, we're multiplying. Yeah, it's multiplying both a negative and a negative equal positive. Right. Negative three times two. Okay. Good. Good question. That's all right. So at this point, we're trying to combine like terms. Here we have no like terms to combine. We're okay. Over here, we do have some like terms to combine. Can you please tell me what are my like terms I'm looking at combining? Five x. Wait, wait. Five x and what? Negative six x. If you combine those, 